as described at the Cabal homepage. Cabal is a system for building and packaging Haskell libraries and programs. It defines a common interface for package authors and distributors to easily build their applications in a portable way. Cabal is part of a larger infrastructure for distributing, organizing and cataloging Haskell libraries and programs. In this video, we'll explore the basics of Cabal and how you can use it to package libraries, build executables, run automated tests and more. We'll also have a look at the family of new commands. Before we begin, I should clarify that the name Cabal is overloaded. There is a library called Cabal, which implements the underlying functionality used in the command line tool called Cabal-install. The Cabal-install tool is bundled with the Haskell platform and is available in many package managers. To follow along with this video, make sure you have a recent version of Cabal-install on your machine, version 2 or above. When using the term Cabal throughout this video, I won't use the clear distinction between the library and the command line tool, but rather refer to them as a whole. We begin with an empty project directory called Introduction to Cabal, and in it we create a new directory, Greeter. To create a new package, we'll use Cabal's init command. It will ask us a bunch of questions about the project it should generate, and we'll mostly use the default values. The output shows that Cabal init has guessed dependencies for our package and generated three files. Let's open up greeter.cabal. We see the package name, the version, license and author information. We're using the simple build type, which will cover the needs of this tutorial and many other projects. Using custom build types, you can hook into various build phases and customize the build. We won't use custom builds in this video. The last part is a library stanza, describing the greeter library. Its only dependency is base. The HS source dirt property is set to SRC and the default language to Haskell 2010. Next, let's create and expose a Haskell module in our library. Our module will be called greeter, and to make it visible to the users of this library, we add it to the list of exposed modules. In the src directory, we create a new file greeter for our module. The file name needs to match the module name. We define a function greet from string to string. Let's build the project and try it out. Press Ctrl and D to exit the GHCI REPL. Our library currently depends only on base. In a larger project, it's likely that some dependencies will be acquired from Hackage. Say we want to automatically title case our greeting, so that a name passed in lowercase will result in a title-friendly greeting. In greeter.cabal, we add a build depends entry for the title case package. In src slash greeter.hs, we import the data text title case module and use the title case function when constructing the greeting. Again, we run cabal build to build our package. Oh, we're missing the title case dependency. It is not available in the cabal package store on our machine. We could run cabal install dash dash only dash dependencies to get it, but that's not a very good idea as the traditional Cabal installation of packages can clash with other projects, we might end up breaking other projects by reinstalling dependencies within our version ranges. There's no isolation between projects using Cabal on a single machine. A solution to this problem is Cabal sandboxes, wherein each project has a fully isolated package store and share nothing with other packages. Unfortunately, 
This might result in packages being rebuilt, even if the exact same versions have been built previously on your machine. Also, they will be duplicated in your file system and take up more space. To support both isolation and caching of packages, the family of new dash commands, also called Nix style local builds, have been introduced in recent versions of Cabal. The naming scheme, where commands begin with new dash, is temporary and will be changed once the Nix style commands become the default. To build our package using Nix style local builds, we invoke the new dash build command. Not only does the new dash build command build our project with isolated and cached dependencies, it also installs any required dependencies before building. No need for cabal install dash dash only dash dependencies. Analogous to the old REPL command, we can invoke new dash REPL. We want our cool greeting function wrapped up in an executable program that we can send to all our friends. We create a new directory exe and within it a new file called main.hs. The main action will convert all command line arguments to greetings and print them on separate lines. To use get args, we import the system environment module. In greeter.cabal, we add an executable stanza for the executable named greet. We depend on base, but use a less restrictive upper bound, and on our own library, greeter. The source directory for the executable is exe and the default language is again Haskell 2010. Finally, the main-is property is set to main.hs. Let's build it. Okay, but where's our executable? The command output does print where it linked the executable but there is currently no programmatic way of obtaining that path. If we want to run the command from inside the project though, we can use the new run command. Let's say we want to have a module named hello in our library that isn't exposed to users of the library. The hello module we'll export a function hello that we consider an implementation detail of the library. In greeter.hs, we import the hello module and compose title case with hello to define the greet function. Finally, we add the hello module to other modules and verify that the greet executable works as before. Had we imported the hello module in the executable, in the main module, we'd get an error. Recent versions of Cabal support cabal.project files which can be used to configure projects consisting of multiple packages. Configuration options can be provided at the global project level or for specific packages, which can be either your own local packages or the packages you depend on. Let's say we want to write a web application that greets people using our greeter module. We create a new directory at the project top level called greeter-web and run cabal init in there. We use the same defaults and values as before, except it will generate only an executable. In greeter-web-src-main.hs, we see the generated main module. We won't build a web application in this tutorial, only import the greeter module and print a to-do message.
To use greeter in greeter-web, we need to add the dependency on the greeter package. To specify the project with multiple packages, we create a new file cabal.project in the project root directory. It specifies the two packages greeter and greeter-web. Finally, we can build all packages in our project using the all target. We can also run our package executables using new-run. To be more confident that the greeter package works as intended, we want to add automated tests. In greeter slash greeter dot cabal, we add a test suite stanza named greeter dash tests. We use the type called exit code standard IO 1.0, meaning that a successful test run returns the zero exit code and a failed test run returns a non zero exit code. The test suite source files are put in the test directory. We create the test directory and in that directory a new file called test.hs. Typically we depend on a testing framework like hunit or tasty. But to keep the scope of this video down, we'll write a simplified test program. We'll verify that greet Alice returns a properly formatted string. In the project root directory, we can run all test suites using new-test and the all target. There are many more features of Cabal that we have not covered in this video. Check out cabal.readthedocs.io slash en slash latest for the latest documentation. If you're interested in the new-dash family of commands, see the section called Nick style local builds. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please consider supporting my work at patreon.com slash Haskell at work. Thanks.